most of my recipes, this is an experiment. If you guys don't already know and have one, and if you do have one, yeah! Today is day five of my Ramadan diaries. Now I'm just here sitting in my anxiety inducing reno kitchen um, and I'm not very well today. I caught some sort of like bug but you know what the show must go on and I'm, I'm in on the inside even though I'm not feeling the best I actually feel very excited. I don't know if it's just adrenaline but I'm just ready to be filming my vlog. So it's not going to stop me. Today's one out of the three days Adam's in nursery, so you know what? We're gonna make sure we get stuff done today, all right? Essentially, I'm going to be painting my little pantry. Now, this pantry has gone through like different phases, but I'm gonna be painting the pantry. I'm going to be tidying up the kitchen. Um, I hired some extra help to help me organize it because it's just too much, too much. And um, I'm gonna be making some very yummy potato balls filled with mozzarella. I saw it on Instagram. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but you'll know by the end of this video. I'm also going to be putting away my bits that I got from Zara Home. I did a haul yesterday, so a home haul. If you haven't seen that, check that out. I'm going to be I'm going to be just in my home set. How cute is this set? I got this set from DKNY. Isn't this so cute? How cute is it? It comes with the matching tights and it's like my homeware. Um by the way, I posted this on Instagram and I said, "You guys, don't delay, get this set. It's the most comfy, cozy, it feels like a warm fleece hug. Thousands of you like went on there and sold it out. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think they brought it back, but it's not on sale anymore. Anyways, rambling, let's start painting. I found this, which is perfect. I always have paint available. Um, I'm gonna be painting it the same color as my units. And then once that's done, I can finally like tidy up. So it's gonna be a productive day. Productive. Let's do this. Okay guys, I used to call this my Frankenstein pantry because nothing matched. My builder made this out of like, if you only saw scraps, essentially scraps that he picked up at a kitchen company. So today we're gonna be painting this whole side, the sides, and yeah, this is our little DIY for today. I'm gonna to purchase some gold knobs that are gonna go in each of these pull out drawers um but he made this out of nothing i'm so proud of him and i'm very very impressed i put all my canned goods in there my my pantry bits on the bottom i can put like the heavy grains this is our water filter looks good right i'm gonna try to find a picture of the before no promises though Instagram. It was like these potato balls with crispy, um, like a crispy coating and mozzarella on the inside. I've never made this before, so <sighs> like most of my recipes, this is an experiment. <laughs> but I will tell you if it tastes good.
got word from my stone cutters that they all have COVID. And I don't know if you've been keeping up with my kitchen reno, but essentially that is the last step I needed to have my kitchen completed. So everything can get painted and set up, but they have COVID. And not only that, I should have actually had my kitchen the first day of Ramadan, but it looks like I'm delayed another two weeks. From next week, um, I feel like I want to cry, I'm not going to lie. And I know that it, some people have like longer waits for the kitchen and stuff, but every single step of this kitchen renovation has been delayed. Every single step. Um, so I'm going to have to make do with this setup until things are sorted. Um, I'm sure you guys will understand. I'm still having the cooking tutorials. You've seen my little kitchen uh, that I made do. I bought this little burner. Uh, but you know what? It's like super, super upsetting. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I just got. I literally just gotta stay positive. It's such a beautiful day outside. The air, the sun is shining. The air feel, feels crisp against my skin. It could be worse. It could be worse now. <laughs> favorite part of the day is picking my prayer gown that I'm going to be praying with on that day and um yesterday it was Jahanara and now it's in the wash but um if you guys already don't know I have I sell the most beautiful incredible prayer gowns they just feel so luxurious they're made so beautifully each one is handmade and guess what it's all built in so they got magnets they just every piece is built in together making it so convenient and beautiful to pray in when we first launched this we sold out hundreds of gowns in less than 10 minutes you guys um, we still have some colors available like we have some uh, Ferdos, which is this beautiful ivory with a hint of like light pink undertone um, we also have Asia available which is a beautiful black color as well um each of the gowns have cc engraved on the sides of it chinatown co there's built-in magnets um and this design i've actually created myself like i copyrighted it and it's like my own creation you will not find anything like this on the market um so yeah beautiful like built-in magnets it's just so absolutely stunning if you guys don't already know and have one and if you do have one girl i think i'm gonna use Istra to pray the hood today because I haven't worn this color in a while. But it's made out of this beautiful satin silk material, built in magnets. I'm honestly just like, these are my babies. These are my babies. Yeah, follow our Instagram page, Chinatown Co., for daily updates, for reviews, everything you need to know about my beautiful um, prayer gowns, all in one prayer gowns. But yeah. I'm gonna wear Isra today, which is like this beautiful navy color. I believe this is sold out. I think we have some in short, but the tall and regular is sold out, but we're currently making more. We're handcrafting some more, so stay tuned. Join the mailing list if you want to get your hands on some that aren't available. And for those that are, cop them while you still can. I don't know if you guys can see, but we got some magnet actions. So the magnets are actually to ensure that the prayer gown stays in place when you pray. Um, and I also have two more magnets here that can be tied in the front. Or you can bring it around to the back of your head. Right, I gotta pray, so I'll check you guys later.
so my circles are not perfect, so I'm going to be using this cup to make them perfect, essentially. There you go. Cute. You could use a glass for whatever it fits and just size it up and make it look perfect. Now, these are just for us, so it doesn't really matter. But this is just if you're like a perfectionist. <laughs> Perfect circles. Well, sort of perfect. Better than what they were before. How is the salmon? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, but it's not too salty, right? No, it's good. It's really good. You know? Okay, because I actually made a marinara sauce, and then what the the marinated butter that was in the pan, I seared the salmon in there. It's really nice. Oh, thank you. And how are the um, uh, the potato balls, the cheesy potato balls? These ones. Oh, okay. Did you warm it? Yeah, so <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's warm. It's good though, right? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I tried to How make this for you, that? but it failed miserably. You tried to what? Something similar. You tried to make something like this? That is for you. So when? Last time, last year. Is it? But it failed, remember? I opened the Oh, thanks, babe. But this is really good. It's just like a mashed potato ball. Well, really nice. Thanks, babe. I don't know what to call it yet, but it's going to be in this vlog. Enjoy! And the rice Lovely. is nice, right? Mm -hmm. I okay. try to make it a bit sticky. Really, Perfectly really cooked. Mixed. Okay, yay! It's a win, guys! You are married to someone. What? You have a passion for food. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, babe. Okay, say bye! Bye, everybody!